The supernatural is a false concept, part two. The entire religious world believes in superstition. Their idea of a divine occurrence or divine entity is a supernatural occurrence. But that is false. And we know that Haile Selassie is the Almighty and he has given us the proper ordinances. So I would like to read a quote from His Majesty. While God, being above every creature, would not find it difficult to issue orders by His word alone, yet His instituting law is because He knew that law would be the supreme ruler of the whole world. So His Majesty is, is, is giving us the instructions about how God operates. And he says that God instituted law. And this law is the supreme ruler of the whole world. So the world and the universe follows laws. Biological laws. Okay. These natural laws is what God set up in place. And this is what rules the world. This is what rules the universe. Right, so His Majesty said that God is not going off of His word alone, which means that basically what He says, what whatever He says, it is. That's the way it is, right? Because God came to set an example, so it's not off of His word alone. God actually set up laws, and He Himself is subject to His own laws. Because these laws, like His Majesty said, rules everything. Rules the world. Okay, so God is subject to His laws. God set up the law. And God follows the law. Alright, let me uh, read another quote. This is from uh, the autobiography of Emperor Haile Selassie. In the absence of any special regulations or laws... Man will do as he pleases, with his caprice as the only principle guiding him from day to day, and brings about fortuitous changes according to his character. He punishes without proper judgment, and kills and hangs people. So, this is the mind of a leader, right? This is when you're able to see... 10 steps ahead and, and understand the ramifications of your policy. If you do not have a law in place, if you do not have a law that says, okay, this is what, this is the guidelines. These are the guidelines. This is how we operate. And this is the way it's supposed to be. If that is not clearly defined, then humanity, mankind, you know, the universe is in chaos. They can do whatever they want to do. Okay, they can behave in, in whichever way they want. And it's only their their conscience. If they feel like, if they wake up in a bad mood, if they had a bad night, then they can just now do whatever they want. They can now beat up people, kill people. It's, it's basically chaos. It's anarchy. Without law is anarchy. Okay, and God understands this better than every, every, anybody else. God understands this. God sees the whole picture. Okay, he knows everything. So laws are very important. Laws are very important. God set up the, the laws of nature. Okay, the laws of the universe. That is what God did. Okay, so when, when we're talking about how the world operates... People, people attribute the title of God in whichever language they use, you know, to the entity who made it this way, who made the universe, who made it the way it is, who made it so that a man and a woman is the only way to have a child. That is God's ordinances. You know, you cannot have a child in any other way. So it's not a stork who just leaves a baby at the at the doorstep and it's not a woman who is so pious 
and she just miraculously has a child inside of her stomach. That is not the way the world works. Okay, that is not the way God set it up. And when we are believing in ideas that deviate from the order which God created, then you are actually going against God. Now the religious world been taught backwards because they believe that the supernatural and, and, and the supernatural basically means that you are deviating from the laws, the, the natural laws, and you are superseding the, the natural order. The religious world believes that when you do that, then that is what makes you divine. And that's what makes you favored by God. And that's what makes you godly. But that is false. Okay, the entire religious world has it backwards. You're actually supposed to follow God's laws. You actually are supposed to keep his commandments and do what he says and obey the ordinances that he put in that he that he established. Because if we if you do not do that, then you're going against his law and, and, and you're creating chaos. You're basically are now saying that I can do whatever I want to do. I don't I don't need to follow God's ordinances and God and you're basically saying that God himself doesn't follow his own laws. And and that's false. So let me read another quote from Haile Selassie. It is by his creating the whole world with inviolable and firm laws determined forever that the Creator causes us to believe in His existence and supreme rulership. So, I, I could repeat that to emphasize it, but since this is a video, you can just rewind it to really let that quote right there sink in. Let it, let it really resonate. Understand what his Majesty said right there. That pretty much closes the door. That ends this discussion. Okay, that that ends it. Now there are so many quotes from His Majesty that debunks the supernatural, and so many instances that we can that we can prove how His Majesty was against this idea of the supernatural and superstition. But that quote right there is crystal clear. It is crystal clear that the supernatural is a false concept and that Haile Selassie first debunks this idea, okay? God created the whole world with inviolable laws. You, that means you cannot violate it. Determined forever. It cannot be violated. The laws of the universe, natural law, cannot be violated. That means the supernatural is false. Superstition is false. You cannot deviate from the laws of the universe. It cannot be done. Inviolable. It cannot be violated. The laws of the universe. And it is because of this that the Creator causes us to believe in His existence. So His Majesty is giving you the real education. It's not by breaking the laws of nature and breaking the laws of God that makes you believe in God. It is the fact that God established laws and there is a natural order. The perfection of the universe is what makes you to understand that he exists that makes you believe in his existence is the perfection and the intricacy of the universe not the violation and the chaos and the anarchy of the universe that's not what makes you that's not what makes you believe that there is a god it's the perfection the laws of nature it is the perfection of the world and the universe that should make you understand that there is a God, that he is perfect, 
okay? He set up the laws of nature. He set up the laws of the universe. And it will only make sense for him to, to, for him to obey his ordinances. The Bible asks us to follow his commandments. Okay, so we must do just like he just like he does. Be holy as he is holy. He sets the example and we need to follow that example, which means that he follows his own laws. Now, when it comes to his majesty's reign, his majesty inst instituted a number of different reforms. Okay? And, and it is beyond question that among the most important reforms which characterized the quarter century of His Imperial Majesty's reign, the fight against illiteracy and superstition through education and the campaign against diseases through public health stand out as most significant. Okay, so His Majesty was actually, people don't make that connection. A lot of people who study Rastafari do not make the connection between the education that His Majesty introduced into his country and the superstition that the people believe in. Now, when we're talking about the superstition, we, we have to understand that these, this is church teachings. These are the teachings of the church. That, that created the culture and created the mindset of, of his people. And the education that his majesty introduced contradicts those teachings. His majesty introduced many, many reforms to the church because the church and this old religious way of thinking is false. Superstition is false. The supernatural is false. It is, it is not possible. Okay? It is a false concept. These are false teachings and it has the people in disarray. It has the people believing in, in, in ghosts and spirits and all kinds of in all kinds of practices and customs that are not possible. Okay? And we need to understand how God created the world. Okay, and we need to follow, we need to follow his ordinances. We need to understand his laws. We need to, under, we need to understand the order that God created for the, for the world and for the universe to obey. And, and we need to understand that he will not deviate from that. And, and we cannot deviate from that. And we need to stop making up stories that these supernatural occurrences are, are somehow real because the whole world is, the whole religious world is lying. I mean, they're talking about these, these miracles and these saints and these superstitious uh, occurrences. They're just making up stories. They, they are deliberately just lying. They are blatantly lying about things that you know they say happened which never did you know so it's like they say that you know his majesty drew a, drew a bird on a uh, on a piece of paper and then the bird flew off the, the the page i mean these ridiculous stories the people are blatantly lying and making up stories to to try to prove their their uh to try to justify their belief in the in the superstition in the in the supernatural, but I mean, it's all a lie. They know that they're lying from the beginning of time. This idea of the supernatural is, is something that cannot be verified. It cannot be verified that you can deviate from the the laws of God. And just because you read the Bible according to a literal interpretation which also is based off of a prophecy that was around thousands of years before the Bible was actually written. Just because you read that parable and do not understand that it's a parable, and because you read the Bible according to a literal interpretation, also is not proof that the supernatural exists. There is no proof. There is no substantial and scientific proof that you can deviate from the laws of nature. 
God set it up this way. You cannot deviate from his laws. Okay, and, and, and superstition is a, is a false concept that we are going to have to educate ourselves because it is a sign of ignorance. It is a sign of, of illiteracy. You are illiterate on the ways of God. And, and, and we are making up our own, you know, stories and fabrications about, you know, uh, the way we want it to be. So superstition and the supernatural, we're going to have to do away with this stuff, okay? That, that's idolatry. Now let me read Acts. Acts 17 verse 22. Then Paul stood up in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found the altar with this inscription. To the unknown God, whom therefore you ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. Haile Selassie I the first God that made the world and all things therein seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth dwells not in temples made with hands neither is worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything which means men's ordinances he doesn't need you to make up stories uh, to justify his divinity. He is perfect according to the natural order. Which is why God, Haile Selassie, which is why his majesty did not do anything superstitious. He, that, he did not do anything supernatural. He followed the natural ordinances. He doesn't need you to try to uh, make up some mystical and, you know, superstitious ideas about him to say, Oh, he's so special because he's a magician. No, that's not how it works. He doesn't need your idolatry. He is perfect as is. The natural order that he established, he doesn't have to deviate from it. Okay? He doesn't need he doesn't need us to make up our own ideas. All you have to do is follow his ways, follow his original order, follow his plan, and that will lead you to the truth. Okay? Seeing he gives to all life and breath and all things. Seeing that he is the most high. Seeing that he is perfect. The way he set it up is the way that 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 we should um you know obey and understand that that's the way that it should be. There's no reason to for him to break his laws. He doesn't have to break his laws to prove to prove who he is. The story about Jesus, the miracles of Christ, the walking on water, the virgin birth, the healing of the blind, all of these miracles, the rising of the dead, all of these miracles are parables. It's not literal. Okay? When Moses, when Moses in Egypt and the fire rained out the sky, okay? These are parables. It's blatantly a parable. Okay, it's blatantly a parable because you cannot deviate from the laws of God. Okay, and it said that God's it said that God sent his son and Jesus Christ is the mediator between God and man, right? Which means that he's the only one who can give us the true interpretation and the uh the true understanding of God. It is through the Son that you can get to know the Father. So it is Christ who gives us the true understanding of God. That means that the Bible is a parable. Because only if it, if it was literal, then the only reason why you would need someone to explain it to you is if you cannot read. Okay? So it is blatantly a parable. If it was literal, then anyone who knows how to read would just be able to pick up the book and they will have the right understanding. Okay, but it is not that simple. That is why God sent his son. That is the purpose of Christ. Only through Christ will you have, will you be given the true understanding of God. And it is for this reason that we know that Primus St. Croix is the Christ because he's the only one who explains God according to logic. 
He's the only one who explains God correctly. Okay? He's the only one who stands for the renunciation of idolatry, superstition, the supernatural, these false ordinances have been crushed. Okay? These are the teachings of the of the real Christ. Okay, logic, understanding, knowledge, wisdom, according to real terms. Okay, so again, let's quote from His Majesty. Knowledge is a treasure that must be grasped and which no one can confiscate. It is a diamond without price which prevents the breaking of heaven's decree and preserves from and preserves from a path to destruction. Knowledge allows you to inherit the kingdom of God, which the mind of man cannot conceive, and is a counselor in time of adversity. So may God grant you to attain a wisdom and knowledge such as I have described. Those are the words of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I asking us to have this type of knowledge and this type of wisdom this real concept of knowledge that prevents the breaking of heaven's decrees and preserves from a path of destruction and it is only according to true knowledge that you can inherit the kingdom of God which means that it is only according to the real understanding, the real understanding of the laws and universe that you can understand God. You, you do not have God, you do not understand God correctly if you believe in the, super, in the supernatural and, and according to the superstitious fairy tales. Okay, so the religious, the, 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 the ideas of religion was was made up thousands of years ago by scientists and and uh, philosophers who had no idea who had no who did not have the correct concept of the order of the universe so they believed that the earth was the center of the universe they believed that the earth was flat they believed in all kinds of weird and 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 false uh, I, ideas and, 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 and concepts that now, that now that the world has become more enlightening we know that these ideas are false this is why common Christianity a lot of people are, are, are now leaving the church this is why almost all scholars almost anyone who is really educated cannot be a part of the common uh, ideas of religion because it's blatantly is blatantly false okay now we need to understand that the true God that the real ordinance of the real ordinances of God do not deviate from his laws okay so if they was actually giving the people the right uh, instructions and the right the right interpretation of God then no matter how much education you receive, there will not be any conflict and contradiction with God himself. Okay, so, you know, like his majesty said, it is for this reason. It is by his creating the whole world with inviolable and from laws determined forever that the creator made us believe in his existence. It is for that reason that he follows the laws and that there is a law that proves his existence that is what should make you believe in god is the perfection of the universe not the violation and the chaos and the made-up fairy tales the superstitious and supernatural ideas that is not that is not what should make you believe in god okay the perfection the laws the beauty of the universe is what should make you understand that there is a god he is perfect he knows everything and he is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. And Brahaliyai, Salasiyah the first.